appointment was scheduled for next Tuesday. Tuesday. And you know that to go for your appointment, you need to go to the, do your exams. Exactly. Yeah. He asked me to go directly. I was in Loom when I received that email. He asked me to go in Douala to receive, do my exam. Is it the medical exam? Medical exams, exams. yeah. <coughs> yeah. When I, I went there, they told me that I'm late because to do a medical exam for an interview appointment in the embassy, you need to do it three weeks before. Wow. They told me that I was very late. Mm -hmm. But then it was not my fault. They sent me that email. It was on you on Tuesday. Exactly. They said, it's not also their fault. <laughs> but if I want to spend my money, I can give my money. But they can't assure. give me assure me that I will have my exam my result before, before my interview. It will be on was on Tuesday. Exactly. But I said, if I'm seeing some here, just take my money and call me. Go buy. Let me go buy. I gave the money and passed the medical exams. But one of the nurses was there with us and told me, just call us on Friday. Okay. We will see what we will do for your for your, for your, for your situation. 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 I called them on Friday. They replied me that you no, know, we will call you since tomorrow Saturday by 9, 9 a.m. And <coughs> they on Saturday they called me. And told me that you will pass to a uh, clinic to take collect. to collect your result on Monday. They asked me when I was going to travel to yeah, Yahoo yeah. since I was in Guala. <coughs> so then on Monday, yes, come on Monday by 11 a.m. and collect so your you result. Yeah, I was very surprised. Mm -hmm. I did that exam with many people, but I was the only one to receive my result okay. for the interview. Yes. Do my result. I went to the embassy to Yaoundé, and the next day I went to the embassy. I was waiting for many questions okay. like that. No, no, no. They didn't ask me many questions. They asked me about my name. Okay. What is your name? Uh, where are you going to stay in US? Okay. When I answer those questions, just say welcome to the United States. I was even surprised. I asked me to come on Friday to collect my visa. My visa. <laughs> yeah, I was surprised. <clears throat> I was not even believing. <laughs> I was not even believing. It was a miracle. It was a miracle. On Friday, I just called my godson who was living in Yaoundé. Okay. Yes, come with me to go to the embassy. Ask me to come and collect my visa. Yes. I don't even know if that thing is really true. <laughs> and when you see, they give me my passport, passport with all my documents. When I went out, I gave him the my, my passport to open for me because <laughs> I was just sticking my hand, was sticking. <laughs> he opened it, my passport. I said, In fact, what's the visa? This is that. I said, What? I took my passport, my hand was shaking. Shaking, shaking like this. I just stay quiet and start thanking God, God for His wonderful God, me divine intervention. divine intervention in my life. Wow. I called my parents in Douala, they just told me, since you have a visa, we yes. don't want you to stay here again. We just book a flight for you. Okay. They book a flight for me today. Yes. Wow. Uh, I went to the U. I reached to the U.S. in Maryland, Washington D.C. Okay. Like everybody yes. gave me my documentation to stay or to ask me to stay in the in the country. Wow. <coughs> I was living in Maryland, especially in Silver Spring. Okay. Then Silver Spring for one year. I spent one year in Maryland, wow. working, trying to. Living a normal exactly. life like, like any normal person. Like any like any normal person. Tell me that experience. Living a normal life compared to your religious life. Compared to your religious <laughs> life. Because when I left my my family or uh, Cameroon, yes. they told me that my family told me that now we don't want you to say what it is you want. You will become a priest. <laughs> God gave you an opportunity yes. to restart your life. And now you are going to the US. Okay. Start restart your life. Right. Live like a normal person. person. 
Ah, that was what I was trying to do. To okay. live like a normal person. normal person. Wow. Interesting. Yeah, like a normal person. I think that was a challenging experience. It was a challenging experience for a person who spent seven years in, in a religious life yeah. to live in the world like this. It was very challenging. Yeah, okay. But I told that the my religious experience helped me a lot. Obviously. Yeah, because in the religious life I grew in you know. I entered the religious life, I was too young. Okay. Yeah, but I left the religious life in mature person. Well formed, well formed intellectually, intellectually, intellectually human, yeah. yeah. Wow. <clears throat> I came to the US without nobody. Wow. I was just there in the US. Alone, and you know that when you are alone, you need to to work hard to succeed. You don't depend on anybody. Not depend on anybody. Wow. I tried to have a small home somewhere okay. when I was renting. Small home. Look for a job. I started like working in a what do you call it? A small uh, what do you say burger? Okay. Small a restaurant. Small store like this. Small restaurant. For one month, okay. after that I applied for a job in a company. One big company was cooking food. Okay, where I was working in a warehouse. Wow. I was a forklift driver. Wow. Yes. <laughs> working six day by week. Can you imagine? Yes, yeah, six from day by week. Saturday. From morning from Monday to Saturday, but yeah. the story was just saying every time one for was working seven six day by a week. Wow. From 9 p.m. <coughs> to 6 a.m. Yeah. Every day, yeah. like this in every. And the morning, I was a cashier yeah. in one store in the town in Silver Spring, downtown Silver Spring. The cashier okay. I was working there. Sometimes, since I was, it was my part-time job. Yeah. Maybe some days, some week, three days. Okay. And that, maybe for it depend. It was depending on the uh, schedule. On them, on what when I was not working there, I was doing my. I was a Taxi Uber driver. Wow. I was doing my Uber. Interesting. <laughs> yeah. This is so admirable. Yeah. Very admirable. Yes. You know, our religious uh, viewers and our seminarians have to know in the seminary, everything is given to you. You don't have to work. You have to concentrate on the formation. But when you come out, it's a different way. It's a different way. You need to take care of yourself. Yeah. You take your life in your hands. Exactly. And Try to become a man that the religious formation gave, gave to you because some people think that after after living the, 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 the end of their life, the religious formation is yes. the end of your life. Religious formation or oh, the formation of oh, that give so you, training you, and bring you to be a good man, a good all person. The tools necessary. When they see you on the way, you must be different of other people. Exactly. You must have some value, some, some value. respect. Then I was not even speaking good English like an American when I reached here. But when I was in my company, when I was working from nine p.m. to to six a.m. After just three months, you see, man, this guy is very different. <laughs> they give me the big responsibility in the company. Mm -hmm. I was working in the center of the warehouse. Well, Therefore, I was like a, a, a kind of a warehouse associate that they, they count on me. Can you imagine? Yeah. Because of your formation. Because of my religious Which formation. Which distinguishes you wherever yeah. you find yourself. Wow. I'm so impressed. I'm so impressed, uh, Mr. Edmond, for this experience, uh, this witness, because you continue to be a witness, irrespective of the fact that you're no longer religious. Yeah. So let's go to the second question. Ah, Bishop, you must have heard of the nomination of the Come first Cameroonian born bishop from Africa in the United States in the person of his excellency Bishop Jacob Fraser. Where did you first meet this man? <laughs> I no first I heard about his nomination. I was here in Maryland. Oh really? Since I was a Christian going to the fire to the church every Sunday, oh. trying my best to live my, yeah, Christian, my Christian life. life. I was going to the church changing the So in Cameroon you had not known him? I was not knowing him in Cameroon. Interesting. <laughs> I was not doing in Cameroon. It is in Maryland. It's in Maryland. I was in YouTube. No, I saw the information in YouTube. Yes, 2021. Yeah, 2nd of March, he was nominated. Yeah, he was nominated. Wow. And many priests, friends in Cameroon, 
was published in their statue. Yes. Uh, the, the the picture of the I was I was happy of hearing that there is a Cameroonian in America who is a bishop. A Cameroonian in America who became a bishop. Wow. I put in my statue. <laughs> it was just like that. Okay. That is the first encounter. Encounter with the that person. Even <laughs> with the personal encounter, it was my first encounter with the person. But I was not even thinking about him. Okay. It was just a I was just happy for him, okay. for all the like all the Cambodian community in okay, the US, exactly, and in the world. world. In the world, so excited about no, him. I was not knowing nothing. So what happened him. after? How did you get in contact with him? Ah, what happened is that I can see that he's in Divine Province. Okay, Divan Province. Divan. <clears throat> okay. Uh, Bishop Jerome, yes, His Excellency Bishop Jerome went to Cameroon to prepare his first mass. Mass is yes. in that in, was in, that. In this, this December, that was in July. In July, yeah, okay. he went to Douala, yes. And during that preparation, yes, he had an interview in Douala in, in the with the with the with the director of communication, communication with Father Willy Shamwe, exactly. Who is my spiritual, spiritual father? Oh. Yeah, who is my spiritual father? Okay. When he was, had that interview with. Father Willy Bertrand. Yes. He was Father Willy Bertrand was in praise. Okay. That is a special bishop. It is. He can talk with you. Very simple, approachable. <clears throat> At the end of interview, okay. Father Willy does something come in his mind. Man. I have my son who is in the US. Okay. Maybe his purpose was not to enter for me to enter in the seminary. seminary. No. <laughs> just to know the vision, since I'm a former religious, to be in contact exactly. with the religious, to keep my spiritual, my Christian, my spiritual life. Exactly. Yeah. Wow. Talk about me. About you to, to the bishop. The bishop said, oh, you just come and be speak to the bishop. The bishop said, oh, he's my son. See, he's in the U.S. Okay. Just give him my number. To call me. To call me. <laughs> and my email. Wow. <laughs> he gave his card to Father Willy to send it to me, to snap and send it to me. Okay. And told me that it's better for him to contact me and we discuss. Since he's in the U.S., in the US. we can discuss sometime. And okay. he's, if he's interested to enter in the yes. seminary yes. again, we can, we can just welcome him in our tasks. Yes. Wow. One day when I, went, I came back from my work, I was just sleeping, and my phone started ringing. It was Father Willy Ben, and when he called me, I always answer, even exactly. if I'm tired. Okay. He <laughs> called me and said, Oh, stop. Because he's, he's speaking French. Okay. Come on, Chuba. He should be bien. He said, Oh, okay. He said, Yes, Chuba, bien. Ah, I'm saying the English because our followers exactly. are here in just English. Yes. Uh, how are you doing? I'm saying, I'm doing great. Uh, we start discussing about anything. And he asked me at the end, uh, later on, do you want, uh, do, you see, uh, do you have an idea again to go to the seminar? Mm -hmm. I told him, yes. <coughs> it's not because I left the religious yeah, that I don't, that don't want question. to become a recruit. He know that, he know me, he know where that my great desire is to become a, a priest to serve God in his church. Okay. You see? Okay. That is good. But I told him that you know that in the US is not even easy. You need to to spend like two years or exactly. some years here to, to get to know to the get culture, to know the culture like before they, enter in the seminary. Yeah. And here it's not even it's even difficult for me to meet a priest since there is coronavirus. Exactly. When you go to the mass after mass is finished, mm -hmm. for mm -hmm. you to meet a priest is just to take an appointment and you know that the US is not have time. We are always rushing oh, about this, but after just this job after this one, <laughs> another one. He said, Okay, that is why he, he can't be his encounter with Bishop sure. so, 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 See that he's a great man. I asked me to give him his number, you can call him or send him an email. I said, okay. For me, I was not even so interested. So interested. I just take the, the, the number, put in my phone, okay. just continue my life like that. But after some days, I said, okay, I will try to call Bishop Jerome. Yes. Yeah, because Father really told me that he's already back in the US. Okay. I called Father Bishop Jerome. Jerome. Answer. Wow. 
aku enggak itu head more happy uh, but I will get when you hear like just speak start speaking in French yeah? okay. like like speak talking with me like he was knowing me since exactly yeah. I was very surprised in front because you know that in our side when you want to talk with the bishop yeah. you need to prepare yourself <laughs> I, I was already prepared to discuss with a bishop therefore when I was giving me a call yes. I was waiting that he was a formal thing is exactly. like very, very formal. formal. But the way that he answered my call, wow, so simple. I know I have to say, okay. he's a bishop. <laughs> yeah, he was a, he's a bishop. Wow. Yeah, he was. He that day gave me another different, different perspective, perspective of, 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 the, of, of, bishop. of bishops. Wow, yeah. simple. Because it was my first time to discuss directly with a bishop. Yeah, on the any phone. bishop. In on the phone, can you imagine? It was <laughs> yeah, very welcome, very discussing with me like he was knowing me since. <laughs> <laughs> so, what did he say? Uh, how are you doing? He said, Oh, yeah, Father, we need to me about you. you. Yeah, he said, that. He said, You are a good man, you are a really good Oh, no, you know that life is like that. Yeah. Just try to live your normal life. He was just giving me an advice to live my life. Yeah, it was not even discussed about it. About the it. first, the first call was not like that. No, okay. just say, uh, okay, mm, but don't feel, just feel free. Okay. Just feel free. Just know that we are here in US together. Okay. If you feel again that desire to become a priest, just let me know. But you know that without that, you can call me any time in room if you want. want. Wow. Yeah. I was very impressed. I said, okay. He asked me about what I was doing in, in Maryland because he told you, you know very well Maryland, yes, Washington, yes, D.C. Yes, 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 yes. Yeah. He told him. me many advice. Yes. He said, no, just try to try your best to live like a Christian. He was helping me. It was for our first call. Okay. But for me, it was just like that. You know that for me was to call a bishop was very difficult for yes. me. Yes. Uh, I stayed for like almost two weeks without giving me a call. Yeah. You call Father when he was discussing with Father Willie, he said, oh, your, your son is not even calling me like I <laughs> can't ask you. Yes. Father Willie he said, man, the bishop is told me that you are not calling call him. him. Let's call him sometime to give him your, your update, update, update about you. Or, yes, yes. Uh, when Father Willie, told me that I said okay I give the call to Monsignor Jerome he was not around during that day okay. I sent him an email yeah. because another way to reach him was by email. Yeah, yeah. I sent him an email tell him to know how he's doing da, da, da. and in answer okay maybe three hours after, after yeah, yeah, yeah. greeting me he gave me a call okay. after replying to my email he gave me a call, gave me a call. okay <laughs> We discuss about everything, everything, in, and that is where I'm telling you, I'm feeling yes. that desire again to go to the seminar, to the seminar to wow. continue with my formation. I know that it will be a shock to my family, family. since they are, they don't want me to to be a priest, be a priest and they are waiting for me back in Cameroon because you know that when you are in the US, yeah. your family is in Africa, they, they are they, expecting, they are expecting many things from, them. from you. Yeah. So what did the bishop say? The bishop say, if you desire, you have that desire, you still have that desire yeah. in, in the deepest of your heart. Yeah. Don't wait for tomorrow or after tomorrow. Since I told him that I was preparing to, to start a certificate in IT, Okay. And service quality with yeah. IT. I was already paying for my for my training, training, for, my for, training, training. for my training. Wow. So you are yes. You will have that certificate. Yeah. Maybe you will work and earn too much money. Yeah. But if you will not you are yeah, your your vocation. Your vocation, you will be happy. You will not be happy. But <laughs> if you feel that desire yes. in the deepest of your heart mm -hmm. to become a priest, I can just tell you, don't wait for tomorrow. Just do it today. Okay. So that meant? Yeah. I told him, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I 
how can I or what can what I suppose exactly to do? What are you supposed to do? Since I know that you have too many procedures to do, you exactly. say, okay, you have your document with you. I say, yes, I have my document with me. Just say, send, scan your document and send it to my email. I will send it to my office in charge of the operation. We will study your, your file. We have file and give you a call. Or me, I will give you a call. Saying my document, but after that, we, we, we just, I will just call him sometime and discuss about anything. Okay, uh, one day I call him, I say, Okay, he told me that you he saw your document, everything is good. Uh, do you want to come now with us to join us now? I said, Okay, since I was not prepared for that, yes, at already engaged myself in many things exactly. here in Maryland. Mm -hmm. Just give me two months okay. to finish with those to land up. Land up <coughs> everything and come and come to St. Thomas. To Thomas. I was not even know St. Thomas. Where was St. Thomas? Thomas. Since I, even I was a US vet, I was Can not imagine nothing about St. Thomas. Yeah, anything. Imagine. I thought about that thing to my friend, he told me, you know, it's better for you to go to St. Thomas to see how the thing is there before take your final decision. You know, I just told them, I'm seeing this thing like a divine providence. Mm -hmm. the, the manner that I receive or how I succeed to receive my visa from from you, from, 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 the, embassy. The, from the embassy, and come to the U.S. My life here, and just say, you say, call, call. Yeah. I don't need to have the thing. I will just go, go. and finish with, with everything that I was doing in Maryland. Just and, came in. and buy what my ticket come here in, in the US. Uh, when did you arrive here in St. Thomas? The 30th of uh, October 30th. Oh, really? So it's almost. Uh, it's just almost two weeks two and a half. Yeah, that okay. year, October 30th. Wow. So, yeah. how was the reception when you yeah. landed here? Who received you? How is the bishop who received me? I was already, I was even surprised. Where in the, at the airport? At the airport. Wow. When I landed, yeah. he gave me a call because uh yeah, he gave me a call, but we were still in the in the fly. Okay. In the plane. Yeah. He gave me a call. What our plane take like one hour and a half to to land here. To land here. The duration of the flight. No, not the duration of the flight. Okay. We were already land in the airport. Oh, yeah, For yeah, us yeah. to go out oh. in the like, oh my it, God. it took like one hour and a half. Why? The mission, I don't know. There was many flights coming. Okay. There was no way for for our flight for our plane to to land. To land. They they gave us. We stayed there for one hour and a half. The mission wow. was there calling me. Okay. Everything is good. <laughs> was there waiting for me. Okay. I was even so far. He, he didn't tell me that he was the one waiting for me. I told that he, yeah, he sent somebody. somebody, maybe the chancellor, to come and welcome me or somebody else. Wow. When I entered the airport, I was just I was impressed to this. Those people welcome you by dancing. Oh. Yes, here yeah, was very different. I was very surprised because. The, the airport in, in here is very different from, from other the airport, airport in, the US. in the US. Wow. People were dancing, welcoming us. I said, oh, I was there looking for my luggage. Where is my? Yeah. I saw somebody touch me like this. Okay. What? What are you looking for? I was surprised it was a bishop. Wow. I just, you recognize him? I recognize him because, because I'm. Maybe I forgot to mention that I, was, I met him the first time in Maryland. Oh, when he visited? When he was visiting Maryland. Okay. I met him the first day. We discussed for like one hour. Okay. Yeah. Wow. That I would recognize him. Okay. I was surprised that the bishop would come came. To, came to welcome me in the airport. Wow. Very simple. I was surprised. So he took you? He took me for the airport. He was, well, no, no, no. Okay, we are, okay. So I'll be the one to. Wow. Carry really? He carry everything and go and put in the car. He was carry the luggage. Yes, my luggage by himself. I wow. go and put in the car. He said, No, 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 I'm the one to welcome you. <laughs> he to go and put in his car, laughing with me, discussing about everything. When we start, he was driving from the from airport the yes. to, to to the cathedral. To the cathedral, we were discussing. I said, He told me, You don't. What are you? 
What is the difference? Exactly. Here? What difference are you? Are, are you, you saying? Are you saying no here? So people are welcoming here. Okay. The, the man that they welcome us in the airport. Uh, we travel here in the U.S. We make in the many uh, many states. But yes. Was, I was not welcome at the airport like, like that. Like yes, like in Saint Thomas. No, was, like I was very impressed. And the and the structure, everything is different from. From other airports, from other in, the airport in the US, even in town, that's true. The building is very different very from different. another state. So, okay, so just like that, so, yeah, for wow. now, yes, just that. It's so, it's okay, I'm very impressed that you, you make that remark of all those stuff just for one less than less one, than, hour, less than one, well, 30, minutes. 30 minutes that you are here. And he drove left, he, he told me that you don't. You don't see another you don't difference. See another difference. <laughs> the lawyer is left. No, I know no. that in Maryland you drove in, 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 right. in the right. You drove in right. I said, Yeah, that is the difference. I said, okay. <laughs> he started laughing. Okay. <laughs> he brought me to yeah, the yeah, yeah. show me everything, come to the chancellery with me, showing me all the scripture of the diocese, where we're working around, yes. giving my room. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that wow. was our first encounter. And great encounter with. His Excellency Bishop Jerome Freeman. So from 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 having narrated this story, it's clear that he's a simple man. He's a simple man. Very approachable, very approachable and humble. Wow. Very approachable yeah. and humble. When His Excellency Bishop Jerome discussed with him from talk with you, it's not you are not seeing him like a bishop. He's like a father. Okay. He's like a father. Okay. Wow. He told you to sign. <laughs> Therefore, he gave you the desire to stay to talk more. and to talk more, to talk your mind. To feel at yeah, home. Feel at home. Comfortable. Since I'm here, since yes. two weeks and a half, I, I, I feel like I'm here in St. Thomas for more than two years. two years. For me. Wow. More than two years. I'm so impressed by that. Yeah. So happy by that. So impressed by that. So we'll be able to learn about the Bishop, simple mind, approachable, or listening. Listen. Humble. Simple, humble, and uh, let's go to the next question. Have you got to know the diocese? Got to know the diocese? Yeah, before coming to Real Virgin Islands, since yes. I sent my order for to applying to enter in this diocese, yes. I start looking up everything, search everything yeah. up in the internet, googling, googling. So you've read a lot. Yeah, I've read a lot about the diocese. Yes. Um, but since I come here, yes. The bishop gave me the opportunity, uh, even with him, he went to visit many parishes, parishes around yes, in Thomas. In St. Thomas. Okay. Yeah. And had the opportunity to meet, to encounter many priests exactly. on the diocese. Wow. And last week, he gave me the opportunity to go to another island, St. Paul. Yeah, we went there together. Yeah, together is the biggest island of the, of the diocese. Of the diocese. And of the US Virgin Islands. The US Virgin Island. From there, I met. Many, many priests. priests and parishioners okay. and deacons, permanent deacons. Okay. Tell me yeah. more about your experience in San Juan. About my experience in How did you feel? I was feeling... I was very <laughs> impressed. Okay. For me, all this stuff sometimes is like a tourism since I'm on the beginning. Exactly. Because very U.S. Virgin Island is very beautiful. No, it is. Let me tell you, U.S. Virgin Island is very different from all the states that I visited in the U.S. since I came here. Exactly. Very natural, beautiful. Wow. And St. Paul is more for me. Yeah. See? More beautiful. How did you go there, by the way? You flew? We flew together. I went to the experience. So you flew with the plane? I you went to the airport? The first, when I was going, I flew with the plane. Yeah, how was the plane? Was that the smallest the smallest plane, plane you <laughs> ever took? <laughs> but nearby was my first time. That was my first time. And the flag was short. So short. Just went to when went out and go down. I it enjoyed was, you in the plane. You were so so you see the water there are so beautiful. You were beautiful. beautiful. You beautiful. landed there. But at least Kemayo uh, was there. Yeah, yeah, welcome us. You see the way you welcomed us. You were just so happy. Happy good father. <laughs> then you took us to parish, introduced to us to places, yes, introduced awesome. you to the parishioners. Yeah. I have the video introducing. This is our same name. And so it was so, I enjoyed it, you know, feeling at home and wow. Yeah. So interesting. And we came back, or uh, I came back with seaplane. It exactly. was my first time to take a seaplane. Which departs from 